everyone it's Anya here I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making this lovely little heart I have made it using two uh, flat hearts basically um, and then putting some stuffing in a little bit of pretty fabric and I have centered it with some essential oil and I'm thinking it might be a nice thing to put on a radiator in uh, your hobby room or something it makes it smell nice or also I was going to put it in my um, <clears throat> underwear drawer <laughs> to make it all smell nice now I started making these in acrylic and I'm thinking yeah that's fine I can put the essential oil on there and everything so that would be okay uh, it's not going to last a lifetime when it gets stained from the essential oil, I'll just chuck it. But to be honest, I think also uh, it would be a good idea to make them in cotton because if you made them in cotton, I think it's washable. So, you know, any yarn will do, really. Um, also, I have used um, Starcraft Special Decay, as I always do. This one is the fondant one, and today I'm using magenta. So, like I said, you need two of these so I'm just going to make one of these with you in a moment and then I will also show you how to crochet them together so it forms a nice 3D heart. I am using my three for this project. You also need your darning needle, your scissors and a little piece of pretty fabric. Um, I just you know I've, I, I do some sewing as well so I had some fabric uh, ready and I have a little bit of fluff this is far too much okay this is just something that I plucked out of the bag but all you will need is probably this much just to give it that little um, 3d shape I've got a little bit of vanilla but I also have other things that I can spray on there even if you spray your own um, it, that would be expensive mind you um, even if you spray your own perfume on it it will make your underwear drawer smell nice of you right okay let's get started so Yes, I am doing a chain four, <laughs> not a magic circle this time. So you make your slip knot and you insert your hook. I am going to chain four, one, two, three and four. Then I am going to turn that into a circle by inserting into that first chain and by slip stitching to turn it into a circle. Then I chain two. I chain two for my double crochets. So if you chain three, please do go ahead. And then we do another two double crochets. In the UK, these are called treble crochets. There we go. Okay, so three, three double crochets into the circle, chain two. And we are going to continue with putting three double crochets and chain twos into the circle, just like we would for a normal granny square. So the first round really is like a normal granny square. So I've done my two chains here. I'm starting my double crochets again. So I've got three clusters, two chains another cluster of three double crochets and two chains okay and now we find that chain two again that we made in the beginning this counts as a double crochet so we're going to skip this the first V we see on top of here that's where we're going to go under to do our slip stitch and that brings us nicely to a nice closed first round now we are going to slip stitch under the next stitch and slip stitch into the corner space. Okay, now we are on the, um, in the correct position to start our next round. The next round we start the same way as a granny square, but we don't finish it like that. So let me show you three double crochets or rather two chains and then two double crochets added to that, two chains and another three double crochets. That's the first corner done. Now we do the second corner. 
same way a cluster of three double crochets two chains and another cluster of three double crochets and we do the same thing in the third corner so three double crochets two chains and three double crochets now this is where it is going to get a little bit different okay so we have this this is where we are at the moment now we're going to start deviating a little bit from the plan from the normal granny square okay to turn this into a heart shape so we are going to chain two now we are going to do our cluster into the next chain space so three double crochets this time we are going to just chain one and then our next cluster into the same chain space right and now we do two chains oops hold your crochet hook properly Anya <laughs> two chains and now we are ready for the slip stitch okay so we've made a granny really we've done the second round of our granny square about the same way but we've made two bigger holes here and a smaller one here now we are going to do two slip stitches to get to the right position where we need to get started and once again we're going to deviate from the normal granny square uh, granny square so three double crochets into this corner position chain two one two and three double crochets not in the same but in the next one there we go okay there we are now we are going to go and do in the next one a normal corner three double crochets chain two and three double crochets okay in the next position here we are going to do three double crochets three there we are and in the next one after chaining two one two you're going to do three double crochets okay so that's sort of the bottom of our heart done and now we need to make the two round bits at the top so what we are going to do in the larger space here we are going to do three double crochets chain one another three double crochets in there another chain one and another three double crochets so in total you have done nine double crochets in this chain space here and two chains then you reach that corner where we did only the one chain that's where we're going to do a single crochet and then straight away we go to the chain two space on the other side doing again those nine double crochets with those 
two chains in between. So three double crochets, one chain. Three double crochets, two and three, and one chain. And once again, three double crochets. Two, and that's three. Okay. And now we are at the beginning, so skip the two chain, go under the V that you see here. So two chain, the V there, and we close the round. And that is our heart. It might sort of be a little bit misshapen, but it is heart shaped enough for you to be able to work with this. Now you could possibly um, use this as it is and use it as an applique, for example, on a blanket or somewhere, you know, on the project that you're making. But I thought it was nice to make a little smelly with it. I mean, this could even be used as a pin cushion, you know, or you could hang it up with a tassel, make lots with a tassel. You know, there's so many things you can do with it. So we have now two heart shapes. This one obviously sorry this one obviously i've sewn in the end so do that this one here i'm going to have to sew in this end so i will do that quickly i have not cut off the other one because obviously i am going to use that as my thread for crocheting them together so really tugging so you secure the middle a little bit more than what it was before there we go Okay, I'm going to cut this off. Right, so now we are ready to start sewing them together. I am going to just do a chain. This is a stitch that's coming out of that last or that first double crochet here. So I am going to insert in the back loop of the next stitch here. Then I am going to take my second piece with the wrong side against the wrong side, so the good sides on the outside. I am going to find that same middle double crochet of that cluster here. So that's this cluster that I'm talking about. The middle one here and that will be this one here. And I'm picking up the back loop. Okay. And that has now tallied them up. Make sure you have your end on the outside and you pull through both of those loops and you do a single crochet. Again, next stitch, you pick up the back loop, you tilt your work towards you, look for the next stitch, which is this one here, and you, sorry, I looked in the viewfinder, then I looked at my work, and then I looked in the viewfinder, and I'm not sure whether that is, yes, that is the right stitch. <laughs> Oh, goodness me, it is confusing. There we go. Okay, and you keep going like that. Let me do the same thing here. I was getting confused because I'm looking in too many different locations. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to pick that up, but just with a little bit of care, you can do it. Also, in the chain, you are also picking up the back loop. Okay, so don't go round it, but pick up the back loop. Ah, and that's why it was a little bit more difficult because of course I was in that chain, but it will make sure if you do that, see, um, it's splitting a little bit on me here. But if you do that, there we go. If you do that, then you also continue that little ridge here um, at the location of the chain and that makes it prettier. So you are going to go around about three quarters of the way because of course then you're going to have to insert your little parcel with stuffing. <laughs> that sounds like I'm stuffing a turkey. <laughs> there we go. But wouldn't this be a lovely, you know, like a present for Mother's Day or even just for yourself too, like I said to make your underwear drawer smell nice or anywhere you know to make anything smell nice t-shirts clothing 
just in anywhere in your hallway on the side maybe you know just as people come in they'll get a a nice smell when they walk through your door now i've reached the tip here of the heart and in the first stitch i am going to do so the first chain of that tip i'm going to do two single crochets then a chain and then in the next chain i'm going to do the same two single crochets so that makes sure we have a nice tip of our heart there and then we just continue on making sure each time that you check really well that you have the next stitch sometimes and i was making this mistake earlier well i was skipping stitches is that the next one or is this no that's the one i used last so there we go so now i am turning my work a lot more to find the next stitch the next leg of the v to go under if it's not very obvious there we go see this is a bit clearer yeah is that the next one yeah i mean it's not going to take that long to do it's just a little bit fiddly <laughs> and also as you do it make sure that you are still picking up um the corresponding stitches um So now we are into the chain again that's a little bit more fiddly so making sure you're picking it up correctly and yeah the nail sometimes has to help <laughs> there we go and uh, yeah that's the one And we're into the stitches again, so that's a little bit easier. And I think this gives your little heart a nice edge look. And it makes it a little bit bigger. But like I said, yes, if you make this in uh, cotton, 100% cotton, you'll be able to wash it as well. If you've put smelly on and it's stained slightly but then on the other hand it is such a small thing it's easy to just make a new one basically mm, did that split a little bit there we go i'm having fun here now i hope you like my videos if you do please like them Leave me a comment if you're planning on making this. Um, also, if you like my videos and you know somebody else who might like to make this, please share my videos with them because that would help in getting more subscribers. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and check out my other videos. And also, if you are already a long time Ophelia fan family part member then I welcome you and I thank you for watching because I do enjoy making these videos and you know I feel like yeah I'm sitting here with my camera and with my lights but to be honest in my head I am sitting here with you with a cup of tea <laughs> with a piece of cake and we're having a nice natter <laughs> See? Oh, is that too quick? No, that's right. See, that's, you know, it's all very special to me. So please do subscribe. Hit that bell as well so you're notified of the videos when I post them. You know I post two a week. Um, so, yeah, keep a lookout for them. Right. Okay, so I am nearly there. Look, that's the ideal opening. So let's take our little piece of fabric. Like I said, a tiny bit of fluff is enough. <laughs> a tiny bit of fluff is enough. That's a good way. Isn't it? And to be honest, I just fold it over like this. 
I don't even shape it into a heart shape, just any shape. Then I put it in, I squeeze it in, and I make sure that it goes sort of in the corners and into the sides. And then it stays closed. There we go. There we are. Look, that's perfect amount. See? And now I am going to continue closing up my heart. So there we go. And the next one. Yeah. And this is... Oh, well, it might be a little bit tedious, but... You know we're getting there we're creating something nice um, you could have put some essential oil on the inside already um, but to be honest I have more in my kitchen and <laughs> this was the only pot I have here in my um, office and so I'm thinking vanilla yes that's very nice but I want something fresher I want lemon or something or rose so I'm not going to just put it on just yet because I might change my mind of which flavor I want <laughs> okay so if you've done it all correctly it should tally up does it mm. if it doesn't I'm not worried at all I'll just make it tally up there we go. I think this is the last one and I think there's the last one as well. So it does work out. There we go. Okay, so this is the last single crochet. This is the chain we did before, I think, somewhere here. So I am not going to attach it just yet. I'm going to do that with my needle. So I'm going to cut off my yarn. I'm going to do an invisible stitch by sewing it in and by creating a fake stitch. So I'm going to skip this one here. I'm going to go under this one and I'm going to create a V. So this is one leg of the V. Now I'm going to create the second leg by going back into this stitch and down into the crochet. So I'm going to, sorry, I'm just going to make sure that I feel that I'm not going into the fabric. There we are. See, and now, look, it looks like a normal stitch. You can't tell that we have sewn in there. And once again here, I'm going to go and try for another sew in. But I am going to keep it on the other side, so you can't tell that I've done that from the outside. Now I'm going to cut off the yarn and that is it. What you also could have done is done a little loop a little loop here and then you could have hung it in your wardrobe or something like that to make it smell nice but uh, my intention is to just put them somewhere uh, on the side um, even in a bowl of potpourri and you put your smelly on there making the bowl smell nice once it's sort of lost its scent. So I do hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>